So thankful to be with you once again on the program Watch Therefore. And this program is a special Rwanda, Africa missions update, July 14 through 26 this year, 2022. And there's a special verse of scripture that is going to be like a theme of this program. And I'm going to read that in just a moment. But first, let's have a word of prayer together. Oh, Holy Father in heaven, thank you so much for letting us participate in your kingdom, flow of your spirit, and plans and purposes of your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it has been decided in heaven. Thank you for this program. Please bless, bless all of the viewers tremendously, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Okay, so here's the passage. It's in the book of Acts. And the Apostle Paul, who certainly is our example for missions, there's no one who planted churches and did uh, missions outreach to the nations uh, like the Apostle Paul. He is the foundation layer for missions. And, and he would go out with the gospel, make disciples, and even plant churches, and he would come back and share, here's what the Spirit of our risen Savior Jesus did in our midst. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of that today, just a little bit. Um, and so here in Acts 14, we see these things. Now, when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work which they had completed. Now, when they had come and gathered the church together, they reported all that God had done with them and that he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. And, and certainly, um, the, the church that I attend, that I planted before um, we moved to Israel, and that now we're attending, uh, they laid hands on us and prayed to send us out. And, and many of our Watch Therefore viewers, maybe even some of you, also prayed uh, for this mission's outreach. And I'm so very thankful to our great God and Savior, Messiah Yeshua, our Lord Jesus, for his abundant mercy and kindness to me and what you're going to hear more about today, our Watch Therefore team in Rwanda, Africa. Well, we had a bit of an obstacle before I left. The day before my son and I were to travel, my son's the producer of the program. He even did a program with me. Uh, he was on the program explaining his role and how excited he was to go to Africa on this trip. We were required to take a, a COVID test and present a negative COVID test at the airport to, to board the plane. My son tested positive for COVID, and boom, first obstacle, and he was unable to go. Yeah, well, thankfully, uh, our pastor, partner, Herman Gatwari in Rwanda, he knows the area he, we were going to very well and has connections all over the place. And he found a believing, born-again cameraman to accompany us on our whole trip. His name was Patrick, and he did a great job. And, and our Watch Therefore team, led by Pastor Herman, met me at the airport with my translator, Eric. And it was such a wonderful time. I hadn't seen them in a couple of years. Just to see their faces at the first was such a blessing. And they had reserved for me uh, a room at a hotel called The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. And it is a hotel that was built and is managed by Born Again Brothers and Sisters in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And they took good care of me there. And uh, I had most of my meals there. And I've had some problems with food over there before and getting sick. And they took good care of me and made sure they gave me food that I could handle. And the first two days of ministry... There was in four churches, four churches in two days. It was like a Saturday at one place and then a Sunday at three churches. I preached three times on Sunday. Yeah, I preached the Watch Therefore message and then the gospel of our Savior Jesus. Hallelujah. In those first two days, 37 precious souls came forward to pray to repent and receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, and boom, we were off to the races from there. As almost everywhere we went, people were getting saved. Yes, repenting of their sins and receiving Jesus as Lord. Oh, precious souls were 
forgiven and given eternal life. It was so exciting. Uh, my schedule was so full that I preached 19 times in 10 days. And I would go to bed at almost uh, uh, around 9 p.m. at night. I would go to bed almost every night and wake up at about 6 a.m. to start my missions day. And of course, I was sleeping under a mosquito net as the malaria-bearing mosquitoes in that area come out at night. And also, I was taking a daily malaria prevention pill. And thankfully, the Lord preserved me as I preached in churches, a soccer field, which you can see behind me. In that soccer field, these are children who came forward to repent and pray to receive Jesus as Lord. And you know, there's some people who were like, well, you know, do these children understand what they're doing? And you know, you shouldn't really let children come forward like that to pray to receive the Lord. Really? What did our Savior Jesus say? He said, let the children come to me, right? And there are some who, when they pray and they receive Jesus as Lord, they know what they're doing, they understand, and the Lord saves them. There's others. It's the first touch the Lord brings into their lives. And uh, he moves them forward in his what we call pre-salvation illumination uh, times where he begins to move in their hearts until that time where he brings them to the new birth. No, it was very exciting that day on the soccer field. And also I spoke at a university in Rwanda, and it was such a blessed delight to see the churches respond to the admonition to watch therefore and be ready for the any time rapture of the church, especially in light of the signs that are all around us today. For example, in an Anglican church, the pastor was weeping with joy for three reasons that became like the, the theme of much of what the Spirit of the Lord was doing in our midst on the entire trip. One, the obvious and tangible presence of the Holy Spirit. Two, 26 precious souls came forward to pray for the born-again faith in Messiah Jesus in this Anglican church. And three, the restoration of the message to watch therefore and be ready to forsake uh, some of the false doctrines that they were so focused on, like the false prosperity doctrine and, and others as well, to forsake those and the restoration of the concept, the idea, the doctrine, the understanding. I need to watch for my Savior to come for me in the clouds and live as if He could come today because He could. Because He could. And of course, in Matthew 24, 36, our Savior Jesus tells His disciples as he's answering what will be the signs of his coming in the end of this age, answering those questions from his disciples, he speaks of the ancient Jewish Galilean wedding. And he, he uses this ancient Jewish Hebraism of that day and hour. No one knows, not even the angels in heaven, but my Father only. Wow, they were ready for some good news. And that passage has good news in it because it speaks of the groom who goes to prepare a place for the bride and he comes to get her to take her back to that place he's been preparing for her. Yes, and, and when we put that with John 14, 1 through 3, oh, hallelujah, let not your heart be troubled. In my Father's house are many dwelling places, yeah? Uh, and, 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 and so in, in some of the churches, they would like erupt or get so happy and that's the, the reality of these times we're in right now with the signs all around us. In the heaviness that they heard also after Matthew 24, 36 and about the modern days of Noah, these things are heavy. This is our reality. This is our generation. They were looking for some comfort. They were looking for some hope. But we don't even understand the times that we're in enough to, to say, well, there is comfort and there's hope and we can be looking for it now more than ever. And boy, did they get a hold of it when I shared that with them from God's Word. The rapture. They were so thankful for the good news also that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. They were so encouraged, comforted, and hopeful upon hearing 
about this anytime rapture, which is the mountaintop, the ultimate expression of the grace of the Lord for those born again in these modern days of Noah. And I think we've got a video uh, I want to show you pertaining to that. Here we go. With all of the trouble of this time, what does our Savior tell us? Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in our Father in heaven. You believe in His only begotten Son. He says, in my Father's house are many dwelling places. Our Savior tells us, I go to prepare a place for you. take a moment to say thank you to those who prayerfully and financially partner with Watch Therefore Ministries. Without you, we could not do this exciting and effective and timely kingdom work. The Lord certainly has raised you up for such a time as this. And again, thank you. In Matthew 24, our great Savior Jesus speaks of a faithful, wise, and blessed servant who's watching for the master to come and doing what the master commanded. My aim for this television ministry and all of our ministries is to make faithful servant disciples of Messiah Jesus who will hear him say to them, well done, thy good and faithful servant. And one of the ways we walk that out is through Romans 1:16, taking the gospel and discipleship to the Jew first and then to the nations. To the Jew first, with our ministry Blessing Israeli Believers, co-founded by our ministry partner John McTurnan and myself. We're working through our Israeli believing partners who are getting out the gospel, making disciples of Messiah Yeshua, planting believing congregations, helping to save babies from abortion, and also helping Holocaust survivors in the name of Messiah Yeshua and much more. And then to the nations through our ministry Poured Out for the Nations, where we're serving in African countries. I personally have served in 10 African countries and in India through one of our believing partners and also in America and through this Watch Therefore telecast all over the world. And one of the ways you can keep up with what's going on in this ministry is through our monthly Blessing Israeli Believers and Poured Out for the Nation's newsletters. I write about things that will help us to watch therefore and be ready, and also news and updates about what's going on here in Israel through our partners and in the nations. Oh, it's an exciting way also to keep up with what you can be praying for, for our prayer partners and what you're giving into for those who sow financially into this ministry. And I wanna talk about that for a moment. And as I talk about financial giving, first I wanna say, as always, if you haven't yet believed in our great savior, Jesus, Please don't send any money into this ministry. It's simply our desire that you would be our guest watching the program today and that you would receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And for those who would like to lay up their treasures in heaven, who understand principles of giving and sowing into the kingdom of God, if this is a place the Lord's called you to do so, there's three primary platforms through which you can give. Our Watch Therefore television ministry, blessing Israeli believers, and poured out for the nations. And you can do so through our website, watchtherefore.tv. 
and also through the post, through snail mail at our P.O. Box by check. And what a great way to lay your treasures up in heaven. Having said all these things, remember today more than ever, watch therefore and be ready. Our King and Savior Jesus is coming for us any moment. Welcome back to this special missions update from our July 22 Rwanda Africa missions trip program. And I started off the program in the first segment with a passage in the, from the book of Acts explaining that Paul the Apostle, who had gone out on mission and come back to the church at Antioch and was giving a report, a missions update, if you will. And, 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 and there are many of our viewers who have prayerfully and financially even supported this, this work. And so for you, oh, hallelujah, and thank you. And I'll, I'll share more about that in a moment. But first, let me read this passage again. Now, when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work which they had completed. Now, when they had come and gathered the church together, they reported all that God had done with them and that he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Overall, we accomplished what we set out to do and even more, even more. Oh, hallelujah, that Paul writes to the Ephesians and says that our Savior Jesus is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we could even ask or think according to the power that works within us, we in the body of Messiah. Amen? Yeah, we, we blessed many pastors at a one-day pastor conference. Oh, it was, it was just an incredible blessing to see these men who I had been teaching on Zoom, right, to be there with me. We had a, a, a time of rejoicing and a time of teaching and hearing the word of the Lord. And I preached in many churches, and we went there to strengthen that which remains according to the words of the Apostle Paul also, to strengthen that which remains in, in the body of Messiah. And I'm telling you, in some of these churches, Pastor Herman looked at me and said, see, the revival is beginning. The revival is beginning. Oh, hallelujah. Sin is abounding all around the world. But where sin is abounded, grace is abounded that much more. And as we reached out with the gospel of our Savior Jesus, we saw 291 precious souls pray to repent and receive Jesus as Lord. And let me just tell you, I don't know exactly of those how many were born again. And there may be people who were sitting in their chairs that didn't come forward but prayed to receive Jesus as Lord. Yes, I, I learned it this way, and this is my practice. I, I do all that I know to preach the gospel of our Savior Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit, and I leave the results to our Father in heaven. And all I can tell you is when I call people forward to pray to repent of their sins and receive Jesus as Lord. I don't, do, I don't do it just to get as many people to come forward as possible. If, if that was the case, this 291 would be 1,091. No, I preach the real gospel, that Jesus the Lord died on the cross for our sins. He was buried on the third day, rose again. And you have to repent. You have to turn, begin to turn away from your sins in your heart and your mind and be prepared to get the sin out of your life. And we, we live a lifestyle of repentance as disciples of our Savior Jesus. And you have to believe that he died on the cross for your sins and rose again and receive him as your Savior and Lord. And it's not easy to follow Jesus. The Lord is hard. There's trouble. But he'll be with you through all of it. Yes? And so I preach a real gospel. And, and when people come forward, I tell them real things like this and more. Okay, and, uh, and, and so the Lord is the one who does the saving, and, um, and, and we leave the results to him. But we did see with our eyes 291 come forward to pray and receive our Savior, Jesus. And the even more that I'm talking about is we have an open door in a network of over 4,000 churches now in five countries. Pastor Herman and our Africa Watch Their Four team have a vision with two streams, if you will. One is to take this Watch Their Four message beyond Rwanda to Uganda, to South Sudan, to Kenya, to Burundi, and of course, including Rwanda there. Yeah, the message stirs the lukewarm to repentance and 
and does a work in the heart of the lost to receive the gospel seed, the salvation of Messiah Jesus. Yeah, and there's a special video Pastor Herman and our translator share about these things. Check it out. Praise God, brethren. I'm happy to share uh, our friend the vision that we have. In his vision that he has, we want to go beyond Rwanda and to go to other countries in Africa. So that we may prepare the whole of Africa for the coming of the Lord. Because we saw that very many churches were sleeping. Very many pastors of the different churches were sleeping. But now we have seen that this is the time for them to wake up. So that them uh, watch there for and be ready for our Lord coming. Now, Pastor Herman, share with our viewers some of the countries that initially we want to break out into as we branch out from Rwanda. Uh, this uh, message that we have, first of all, we want to take it to Burundi, Uganda, Uganda Tanzania, Tanzania, Kenya, Kenya, South Sudan, South Sudan, Ahose. All those places DRC, that were mentioned, DRC Congo, so that them, this good news may reach them. Fellow servants of God, come and we come together to take the word so power. So that we may raise the uh, magnify our God as our King. Before He comes, we spread this message to the whole world. We need the power and we need your support together so that we may spread the gospel. And the, and the Lord bless you so much. Secondly, we're prayerfully considering, they're excited about the notion of, and we're getting to pray about this, planting Watch Therefore churches in Africa. Pastor Herman and others of our team have been involved in church planting for many years, more than a couple decades. He's planted church buildings, church congregations all around Rwanda and other places as well. So please join me in prayer as this would be a very big undertaking. But we know our Lord's arm is not too short if this is His will. And time is running out. There is an acceleration, not only of the demonic and the dark out there, but also a great ex a kingdom acceleration, right? That will blow right past all the demonic and all the darkness and all the sin, bringing people to our Savior Jesus and empowering us to raise up disciples who are watching for our Savior to come and ready. He will hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Isn't that what you want to hear from our Savior when you first see him? Finally, we had the great pleasure of walking in obedience to our Savior Jesus from Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20, where he tells us to baptize precious souls in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we baptized 42 precious souls who had come to faith in Messiah Jesus, having heard the Watch Therefore message and then the life-saving gospel of Jesus Christ. What a joy and what icing on the cake to this special trip. And, and these who are being baptized, Pastor Herman has embraced this Watch Therefore message and others on the team and are out preaching it in churches and people are getting saved. That's the 42 that were baptized. They had done this recently before my trip. Yes. And of course, there'll be many more of those 291. They will be getting baptized as well. Hallelujah and hallelujah. And there's some video footage um, from, for this also for this baptism. Many thanks and blessings to all who prayerfully and financially partnered with us on this special missions outreach. So much of what was accomplished will be measured only by eternity. Oh, hallelujah. All I can say is, of the, I don't know, 35, 45 times I've been to Africa, maybe 50 oh, since 2006, this is in the top three 
of the best missions trips. It was so comprehensive with the pastors in the churches and then seeing the lost saved. And, and now this vision to go forward and expand into other countries like this. It's a prayer, a dream come true. And for those who are participating, listen to what Paul says to those who participated in his missions outreach. Now, you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me a concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica, you sent and once again for my necessities. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Indeed, I have all on abound. I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. And my God shall supply all your need, according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. And hallelujah to our great God and Savior, Messiah Jesus, for this special Rwanda outreach. Please do remember to watch Therefore and be ready. King Jesus is coming for us any moment.